Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2015 from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Sands Expo. This is the Innovation Expo here at the uh, CES show. CES is an amazing show. It's been unbelievable. It's nonstop action. This is your live continuing be terrific coverage of CES 2015. We're also streaming live on planet5d.com. Right now we're featured on live stream. We're using live stream to stream and uh, we're really excited about all of this. We have great syndication partners. Don't forget to download our app, app.beterrific.com. And of course, you can reach out to us on connect at beterrific.com. That's our email, connect at beterrific.com. Or hit us up on social media, at beterrifictv on Twitter and also Instagram. I've got the global toy expert, Richard Gottlieb, right here. Yay, here we are at CES. He's, yeah, you, you become good a good friend. You, my friend. Good, yeah, good to see good to you. Here. It's uh, great to have you here. Um, talk about here. what you've seen so far here at CES. Well, you know, it's it's um, it's overwhelming to a degree. If you've never, it's my first time here. Yeah, it's I'm pretty amazing, right? I'm usually in Hong right? Kong this time of year at the um, toy and game show and the licensing show, and so it's my first year, and it's um, unbelievable. I've never seen um, such a variety of technology. Did you get a chance to go over the Las Vegas Convention Center? Because we were there the last two days. Have you been there? Oh yeah. Have you ever seen boots? You've been to a lot of trade shows, just like me. Nothing. Have you ever seen boots like that? I've never seen anything like it in the world anywhere, and I've I've done shows in Brazil and China and Germany and and nothing. It's uh, pretty pretty wild. Yeah, it's really unbelievable. I, I describe it as basically, this is a normal trade show, what we have behind us <laughs> here. Normal sized boots, you can see pretty far down the aisle, especially up this high. If we're up this high at the convention center, yeah. you wouldn't see anything. No, you it <laughs> literally is like a city. It's like walking down the street in New York City, you can't, you can see straight ahead, but you can't see left or right. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I was just thinking to myself, how much money was spent on on the well, uh, on the exhibits. It's, do, you, it's do you know staggering. the biggest booth? Who's that? Sony, okay. thirty-two thousand square feet, and we were told they spent over twenty-five million dollars, somewhere between twenty-five Man. and fifty million dollars. Man, just on the booth. Yeah, Forget well, about it's the gorgeous. Space. I saw yes. it. Yes, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. What do you think the trend is here? I mean, because I, I know that this this isn't your thing is to talk about the trend here, but what do you right. notice is the trend here? I can just take what I noticed. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. And I think the first thing that, that really struck me was, uh, I don't say it's the end of privacy, but I think we can see the end of privacy from here. Oh, well, I, have, I think privacy was gone about two years ago. Between the drones, and by the way, I've, there's so many drone companies out there. They've got a drone, I saw this this morning, with a light on the front of it so they can shoot at night. Yeah. I mean, that is truly the end of privacy, and by the way, creepy. And, and then the other thing is, so you've got all these drones, and then you've got so many ways to track people. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then you can now, you can track yourself. Your, your previous guest, Renee Rice, who I, I'm crazy about Renee, I know her real well. She was talking about how, you know, you can do your own body. Yeah. You know what you, see, now you're spying on your own body. You know what your stomach's doing. Well, you, you know? definitely can't lie to anybody anymore, like the doctor. I know people, who, I don't do this, I don't believe in this at all. I believe in being completely honest with the doctor, but I know people who go to the doctor and they're like, no, I don't smoke, and they smoke two packs a right. day, right? And, and and so you can't do that anymore no. because it, it, it's it's going to come out. So anyway, it's, it's so so it's the technology. It's, it's it's kind of an ambivalence. I feel you know it's like this phenomenal technology. Tattoos you can put on a child, a temporary tattoo, not permanent. Yeah. A temporary tattoo <laughs> of a sealer. No, you know, temporary tattoo, and that you can track the child through the through the tattoo. That's unbelievable. You know. Uh, so that was one thing. The other thing, I, I have never seen so many 3D printer companies in my life. There must be 100 3D printers. Did you have any companies. idea that there were that many 3D printer companies? Seriously, I mean, I, you I, know I, about the big ones, uh, 3D systems, you know about MakerBot, um, you know about uh, all, uh, all sorts of other ones, but did you know that there no. were all these 3D printer companies? I'm, I'm literally, I would say there's between 70 and 80 at least different companies uh, making 3D printers. I believe in the future of 3D printers. I think it's hugely important. I just don't see how the industry can support that many 3D printing companies. So, so that was another thing I, I really, I really, uh, I saw. What about connected homes? All this connected homes. A lot stuff. of connected homes, um, but but you know, in, in um, the the thing that, the one thing that made me stand up, but I, I really went like whoa, was a portable printer. That's about the it's it's a cube, but it's about the size of a softball, and you say to yourself, how can this print. Well, the paper doesn't move, the printer moves. So you put the printer on the paper and then it moves across the paper and it prints out. Well, I was like, I never thought of that. You know, there was like, 
Wow. You know? yeah, do you think this is a show that really, I mean, I say we could do this show two weeks straight, 24 hours a day, and not get to everybody. Absolutely. And, and so is this a show that just wears people down? It does wear people. And I, I, was, I was telling uh, someone just a little earlier today that part of what I think just kind of hits people is as you walk the show, you are seeing variations on the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody's got something different. And you're going like, wow, that's going to shape the future, and that's going to shape the future. And it's, so it's so I think you're really dealing with uh, trying to capture where we're going in terms of technology and society. It's, it's, a, it's really quite a show. It's really tremendous. I, I, I can't tell you, I love this show. I, this is my first time, too, and I'm, I'm so blown away. I, I think that it, it really makes you think about the future and what we need and what we don't need and what the future is going to be like. Um, but it's a lot of fun. All I have to say is it's, yeah. it's a ton of fun. Yeah, and there's a lot of people here. I think there's 170,000 people here. Something yes, like it's, it's something like 170. I think it's 152,000 or 160 or 70,000 people, 3,200 vendors. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just the sheer number of people that are here is, is unbelievable. What do you think of our setup? You've been on our set at uh, Engadget x Band. You've been to our studio. and, yeah, and here that. You mean? Yeah, oh, what do you think well, of this? It's pretty I, nice, this right? Is like, uh, this is like the big time. Did the CEA treat us all right? Uh, yeah, this is like I feel like I'm on NBC uh, covering a Democratic convention uh, or something. I love you it. Know? All right, so uh, what are we going to talk about George McGovern? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. Here. No, uh, so um, what about your favorite thing that you've seen? Like, if there was one thing you could put in your bag and walk home with, what would be well, the favorite? Well, would be that thing? printer. <laughs> 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 that printer was uh, was really great. I, I've seen a lot of things, you know, um, here that that interest me, but not so much because I wanted to take it home, but, but what I thought could be done with it. Yeah. That that it could be just changed a little bit. You know, that could be made. Um, into uh, being more playful, being more colorful. Uh, that was sort of the, the stuff that really struck me. What do you think of how this plays into toys and, 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 how, and how all this stuff in the future will uh, play into the toy space and into the connectivity of toys? I, I have to tell you, I'm really uh, surprised by how few toy companies are here. I am too, actually. It's, it's a, I mean, very, very few. I don't understand why. I really. I mean, think Wowie gets the it. They're here. But yeah, Wowie's got a great booth, and they've uh, got an amazing new toy, the Rev. We're going to have them on, and I'm so excited for this. You know, I played with great. it the other night. Uh, Spin Masters here. Uh, they've got this. Uh, looks like a, an Erector Set robot. Yeah. Uh, that that was very impressive, uh, and uh, uh, a Curio is here with their tablet. So there's a few toy companies. But really not a lot. So I think that uh, the toy industry is missing a big opportunity in not being here. Yeah, I, I would agree 100%. And I think that that might change in the future as CES continues to grow and grow. And and, and you, I like how they organize it. Every If you want to go to 3D printers, you know exactly where to go. If you want to go to automobiles, you know exactly where to go. Right. And they kind of put it all together. It's very nice. Um, if Is there anything here that surprised you or changed your view on something? I, I think what surprised me was... As much as there is so much that's new, there's a lot of um, sameness. Uh, we were talking about 3D printers, and, and I mean, after you've passed the first five booths, you, you begin to not see 3D printers anymore. I, right. I, if I see another fitness bracelet, you know, I mean, you see what, what I'm talking about. There's just lots and right. lots of people showing the same stuff. So you have a lot of, you have a lot of companies showing very, very unique product. But I was also surprised about a lot of the Me Too. You know, Z-Board is here. I've wanted to see Z-Board for so long. They're a motorized scooter, a uh, skateboard rather. And I was so excited to see that. And I, I mean, there is a lot of innovation. Well, there's some motorized skates here. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of innovation. You just have to make your way through the crowd and, and kind of find it. But it is. It's, it's, it's yeah. hard. There's a ton of innovation here. Right. So it's, it's, there's innovation and that there's Me Too. So I, I yeah. guess you what happens is something becomes very popular. People follow in, you know, and then you have that natural kind of uh, sorting out that goes on. Bill in the chat room wants to know, you're the, you're the global toy expert. Do you have a favorite toy of all time? Just something that makes you smile when people talk about it today? Well, I had an electric football set when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, Was that with the players where they'd shake a little and vibrate e all the way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty low tech, but it was... Uh, 
for a young kid like me at the time, it was, it was a pretty exciting present. That, that, was, uh, that was a big one. That was a big one. That is pretty awesome. Richard Gottlieb, Global Toy Expert. We're Good going to see you, you back home for sure. You're going to do a lot more with us, right? We're looking forward to it. I, I can't wait. And uh, so thanks for, for joining us here. It's great to see you. we got to get together off camera a little we bit. We will. All right. We'll drink. All right. Or not. <laughs> I'm Michael Arches. We'll be back with a whole lot more coverage here of CES 2015 from the Sands Expo in Las Vegas. This is your live continuing coverage on Be Terrific right after this. We've got the Pono next. Are you an audiophile? If you're not, you're going to want to hear this and see this. And if you are, you won't want to miss this. High quality audio in your pocket. Unbelievable. We'll be back right after this.